Hey, this is Roslyn. I am the ABS CBN Global Head of Music and Talent. And for the past 20 years, I've worked in the music industry, specifically with a lot of hip hop artists like Kendrick Lamar, Drake, Chance the Rapper, T.I., Jay-Z, and more. Producing concerts, editorial programs, and commercials with a lot of my favorite hip hop artists. And how did that begin? What do I think of hip hop? For me, Growing up in hip hop was thinking that I was every element or I try to be a part of every element. I think I tried to be a B-girl. My name was Link of Chain Reaction. That was my crew. <laughs> I also tried to be a graph writer. I tried to also uh, tag. Uh, I tried to be an MC. So I would enter freestyle battles. Shout out to <laughs> Freestyle Session and Cross One for having these open mics and freestyle battles. I don't know why, but I would love to be in ciphers with guys and, and feel all the energy and like make fun of each other and like battle rap. That was so exciting to me. I would listen to the wake up show and, and hear battles with like juice and supernatural. And I would like to see like the way that they came with each other. I grew up watching Garfield. I grew up really sarcastic. So I love that element of like being able to freestyle and, and to talk about people. So there was B, there was B girling, there was graph, there was MCing and DJing. So along early in my career in elementary school, I started DJing. In sixth grade, I became a DJ. A DJ in the sense that I was playing music for people. So I ran for president just so I could create a new program where we played music at lunch. I love that feeling of people coming up to you and saying, what's the name of that song? Or I love that song too. I love the way that music personified what you're feeling, whether good or bad, and specifically hip hop. I would watch Yo! MTV Raps. I would listen to Hollywood Hamilton, which was on Power 106 at the time. And I was really uh, into a tribe called Quest, De La Soul, and the Native Tongue Movement for how positive they spoke and the way that they infused it with, with jazz. And through elementary school, through junior high, and then through high school, I became a DJ again at lunch, playing music at my school, for my friends to listen to. I would create mixtapes, meaning I would create CDs of the fa my favorite songs. I would go buy vinyl records at Fat Beats or um, Stax Records, shout out to DJ ICIs, of artists like Most Def and Talib Kweli, uh, Dilated Peoples, Black Eyed Peas, etc. I would create these CDs and pass it to my friends at lunch. So that was like my first version of a mixtape. I actually got into DJing when I started the radio show at Third Floor Radio at Mount Sac in Walnut. California, and I would play a lot of underground hip hop, a lot of local artists from Delta 9 to artists that were far away that I love, like Slum Village. And then we moved the show to Cal State Fullerton alongside DJ JP, Concise, and Analog, and it really became special. For Los Angeles, it was one of the only positive hip hop shows where you could go and you can hear music that was positive, that was fun. Um, it was anybody from the far side to A Tribe Called Quest to Dela and hip hop became real. It became a part of my life. It became uh, my identity in a sense that I could now interview people that I'd looked up to. You know, Gangstar or, or Guru was, was my one of my favorite rappers. And I remember having an interview with him a couple of months before he had passed away. So that really defined my career. I would say hip hop was the birth of my love for music. And so now, now that I'm traveling the world and uh, we're internationalizing a lot of our artists like Anigo Pascual or Kiana Valenciano, I take that hip hop with me. You know, I really made it a mission this year to bring Filipino talent to the world stage. And we see it a lot everywhere, especially in hip hop. Pilo, Rubio, Barro, even Guap Dad 4000, Sweetie. There's so many talented Filipino rappers out there. Manila Gray, Killy, uh, Karen Sita. I, I think hip hop is, is a way of life. It's a way about, of, of being resourceful. It's about community. It's about speaking your mind. And it's really been a definitive part in my career. And I hope anybody gets to experience it in their own way and to experience music in the same way that I did. And it's a blessing. Even just saying this entire story in a couple of minutes really made me appreciate how long this journey has been. And it all started with hip hop. If you haven't watched the movie Brown Sugar, <laughs> make sure you watch that. Uh, she always asks, uh, when did you fall in love with hip hop? As soon as I started listening to music and I'm still in love with hip hop and I hope you are too.